Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy. I'm back. It's been a long hiatus from my last video I uploaded, but I got a lot of great videos in the works and I got a lot of exciting projects that I can't wait to share with you guys. First of all, since my last video, I got to work on a bunch of really cool projects and get in touch with a lot of really awesome organizations that you guys absolutely need to know about. The first awesome project I got to be a part of was coordinating AETC's largest ever Black History Month fly-in. On this trip, we got to do a lot of once-in-a-lifetime things that I'll remember for the rest of my life. First of all, I got to fly my T6 into Moton Field, which is the original training airfield of the Tuskegee Airmen, located just outside of Tuskegee, Alabama. Secondly, we were able to coordinate tours of the facility and aircraft at the Bama National Guard. Over there, they keep the heritage of the Tuskegee Airmen alive by flying red-tailed F-16s. That was really cool to see that. That's definitely something I want to do when I'm done with my current assignment. So I was really grateful for the opportunity to go talk to some Viper drivers. This entire operation is really amazing when you break it all down. We were able to get four T-6s and two T-38s across three different Air Force bases to visit about 12 schools across seven cities and affect over 200 minority and underrepresented youth and see over 50 different influencers of minority and underrepresented youth across three days. This weekend was cool not only because I got to get out there and help share my experiences with kids and start young aviation careers, but on this trip, I met my first two organizations that I wanna share with you guys. The first of these organizations is called the Legacy Flight Academy. These guys are so cool that I even joined and became a part of this organization. The Legacy Flight Academy is a nonprofit organization that targets minority and underrepresented communities and influences kids to pursue a career in aviation. This organization runs on donated time and money and has scholarships ranging from one to $7,000 for students aged 15 to 21. And they do programs for children ranging from simple fly-ins where Somebody with the Cessna just flies in and we get a bunch of kids around and we get kids on their dollar rides. And that's not even the best part. Get this, they have a three week long program where they take a bunch of kids from across the country, all expenses paid. And over those three weeks, you come down to Florida, they fly you around and at the end of it, you graduate with your PPL. These are a bunch of really cool dudes. Gotta go get in touch with Kilo Tango Aviation over on YouTube and just go check out their website, go donate, do all that good stuff. The next organization that I have to tell you about is the Red Tail Scholarship Foundation. The Red Tail Scholarship Foundation is an organization that aims to train more African American pilots than the original 996 Tuskegee Airmen. The Red Tail Scholarship Foundation provides mentorship and aviation training for African American children. And they're currently in the works of expanding to providing aviation maintenance career field opportunities for these kids as well. Both of these organizations are filled with really awesome people. And if you have any kids that are looking into flying, but you guys just don't have access to the resources or know how to get started in the aviation community, I promise if you reach out to anybody in the Red Tail Scholarship or the Legacy Flight Academy, they're gonna get you in touch with somebody in your community who can. The second cool thing I did since my last video was put wings on the chest of the Air Force's first ever UPT 2.5 students. Unfortunately, we can't get into the details in terms of how long it takes to graduate a student or how many students we're graduating at a time now, but I can tell you this program is extremely exciting. We're putting out the same quality of pilot in a fraction of the time using innovative technologies like virtual reality and guided videos and we even have professional cognitive therapists, Olympic nutritionists, and human performance specialists to help maximize their performance. The third and final significant thing I've done since my last video is to coordinate and execute a flyover of the U.S. Air Force Academy. As far as I'm aware, I'm the first person from the class of 2018 to lead a flyover of the Air Force Academy, which is where I went to college. And so I'm just proud of that on my own. But the significance of this flyover is immense. The occasion for this flyover was in support of the memorial service and ceremony rededicating the airfield at the U.S. Air Force Academy and naming it 
after Benjamin O. Davis, who was the original commander of the Tuskegee Airmen. Up until this point, I had never led, been a part of, or even been part of the coordinating process for a flyover. And for this ceremony, I did all of it. So it was, uh, you know, pretty push it up. I was pretty nervous, but we were able to shack our time on target within two seconds and we flew over right as the last note of taps was playing. So that was really amazing. Everybody said it went great. And I was just really just proud of myself for being able to execute so well and really grateful for the opportunity to be part of such an important occasion. And then last but not least, as I wrap up this video, I have to shout out Aviation Exposure Camp. Aviation Exposure Camp is a free camp that's oriented towards connecting young aspiring pilots with people who are already established in the industry uh, through mentorship, podcasts, and all types of other just social interactions between the two. I actually found these guys because the creator of this program was actually a viewer, a Cordy Boy viewer and subscriber, so thank you very much. And I just want to end on this note because if you have any kind of aviation related project or anything you'd like me to be a part of, please reach out and I'll do my best to support you and try to get the word out about your projects as well. So with that being said, thanks for uh, sticking around. We got more videos coming this summer. And if you have any great projects you want me to be part of, just reach out, DM me, leave a comment, add me on IG or whatever it takes, but just reach out because I love being a part of you guys. Otherwise, that's all I got for you, man. Deuces. All right, so I put this video together because I realized it was gonna be a while till my next video came out and I was doing a lot of awesome things I wanted to document. So right when I thought I was done, I had another awesome opportunity fall into my lap. So a classmate of mine from the Air Force Academy reached out and told me that she's working on a project with the Association of Graduates. So basically they were working on organizing and putting together a fighter pilot podcast full of a wide range of experiences from brand new fighter pilot just got back from her first deployment all the way to a retired test pilot who's flown over 70 different aircraft. So I was bought in to share the perspective of an instructor pilot who's operating in the current UPT environment and just share my perspectives on what it takes to actually get to that point to crush it in UPT, get your 38 and then eventually get out and get your fighter. So yeah, man, go check that out. We have an hour of content, a lot of really cool stories, a lot of really awesome perspectives. We got Laser, who's a test pilot with over 70 aircraft under his belt. Grinder, she flew Strike Eagles and F-35s. She has over 500 combat hours. Um, Lof, she just got back from her first A-10 deployment. And Paveway is currently flying the Strike Eagle out at Seymour. So, and then you have me who, again, I'm just currently in the UPT environment making the decisions every day to send kids to T1s or 38s. So we got a lot of really informative content and a lot of really good mentorship in that podcast. So go check it out for sure. Otherwise, yeah, that was me quibbling for the last nine minutes or so about why I haven't uploaded in a little while. We got more videos on the way this summer. I want to upload a video every other week. I already have a couple in the pipeline, so look out for that. Otherwise, the only other cool thing that's around the corner is that I'm trying to coordinate and organize to get some F-16 incentive rides in the two-seater. Um, so let me know if you guys want me to share that experience with y'all or uh, what kind of content you guys would like for me to produce out of that. And I'll try to see if I can get it in the works. So for real this time, deuces.